internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Three, two, one. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got Joseph on the line, and he's down where it's warm. I'm up here in Minneapolis where it's a little bit chilly, but I'm used to it because I've been here forever. So, Joseph, you there? I am. We can hear you loud and clear after a couple of trials and tribulations, but we're here now. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, I do these interviews kind of fast, just get to know who you are and what you do and all. So um, how long you lived in San Diego? I grew up here, so all my life. You're a native there. You got a family down there and married, kids? I do, uh-huh. I'm up here, uh, just north, actually north of San Diego now. I live out country. In what country? I live out in the country. Out in the country. Yeah, just north of San Diego. Okay, that might have been part of the internet reception problems <laughs> in a rural area. Yeah, but we got, uh, it normally it works fine, so. Yeah, sometimes these things just got to figure out and how they can work, kind of like people, they got to figure out how they can work together. That's what sure. the internet ends up doing too. Okay, so let's get into uh, what it is you, what, what occupies you, what's your job, career, what is your mission in life, what is it you're doing? Well, I recently, uh, I have an undergraduate degree in anthropology. Uh, I have a doctorate degree in chiropractic. And, uh, but uh, I also have, uh, I'm the grandmaster and founder of Kenshinkan Karate. And I just closed that dojo about a year and a half ago. And now I'm writing full time, speaking, doing workshops. Okay, we got, we're got kind of common. I started doing Taekwondo back in 1975, so I, I, I resonate karate. with you there. Yeah. So how long did you have that karate school going? Uh, about seven years. Wow, yeah. I know, I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, though. Absolutely. But, you know, Keeps you in good shape. Every seven years, it's time to move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had a... I met with an old... Uh, one of our instructors just yesterday, and we talked about the old times and the old days. Yeah, yeah actually, uh, the the ability to move and react fast it actually saved my life. A situation happened oh, where I almost got hit by great. a car, but I was able to jump up high enough where it didn't smack me in the hip. So, oh wow, it's great. good stuff. Keeps you going. Yeah, so, I got my first black belt in Taekwondo. Sure. And then I studied in Japan, and that's. Uh, that's where I did most of my training was in Japan. Oh, with the with the real deal. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 changed these days. That's for sure. So, what's keeping you busy nowadays? Well, I'm just writing, publishing, uh, speaking, doing workshops. Okay, what what uh, where do you speak? Oh, just different uh, local areas right now. Uh, right now, my uh, some of my books are being translated in Italian. So we expect to be doing workshops in Italy uh, later this year. So where do you get some? Where do you get some of your books? Are they on Amazon and all things like that? Uh, yeah, mostly Amazon, but uh, they're available in Barnes and Noble, and, uh, um, you know, uh, Apple, different mm -hmm. stores. Okay, and you, you want to throw out some titles of what the books are and what they're about? Well. Uh, my first uh, series is uh, it's a six volume series. It's Loving Yourself Wealthy. And uh, it has six volumes in that. I have 11 books all total right now. Uh, the last one was uh, Success Angels, Angels Everywhere. Uh, that's uh, in pre publication right now. And um, so, it all, all the books deal with uh, listening uh, to your heart, your intuition, what I call your angels. And you know, there, there's such, I mean, there's, there's an unending supply of information yeah. uh, available. So uh, it, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a matter of not enough information out there for people. Uh, people have the information, but they don't act on it. 
And so, mm -hmm. so what my books are, are uh, concerned about is teaching people how to listen to their heart, to their intuition, and then take action on that, on what they're hearing. Okay. Most people don't, most people don't do that. Yeah. So, so that's uh, where all my focus is on. See, that's a... Uh... You know, that, that movie that came out, The Secret, everybody was wishing for things and right. then they never did anything. Right. They were just kept on wishing. And I think, in my opinion, right. you're in the physical world. You need to take physical action for stuff to happen. You got to take, yeah. you got to take action. Exactly. So that's what your books are primarily about. Listen to yes. your, your intuitive, uh, the heart waves as opposed well, to the brain I waves. Call, I call it your angels because yeah. um, uh, I had a nervous breakdown back in 1990. And I uh, lost my business. And however, uh, because of that, um, I had uh, a spiritual experience where uh, Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene both came to me and they healed me uh, to some degree um, uh, regarding my childhood molestations. And, and uh, but about uh, two years after that healing, uh, Mary Magdalene uh, came to me, woke me up one morning at 2 a.m. And I came into my office and since 2013 now, uh, every morning, I just, I, I don't write them. I just transcribe these four stanza poems mm -hmm. that we now call love notes for your soul. And uh, so that's what all the books are about. It's the publication of these love notes and, and about keeping faith because most people don't take action or they take a little action and they stop, mm -hmm. but they don't continue because they lose faith. Right. And all my books about, are about keeping faith. And I lost faith too. Now, these notes were coming to me every morning, uh, started in December 2013. And in uh, March of the next year, I started having doubts. And uh, so I said, you know, I'm thinking, come on, oh, are these really coming from Mary Magdalene? Am I, am I just making this stuff up? <laughs> and so I, uh, so I said one morning, I said, look, I want a, I want a burning bush. I want a clear cut uh, sign that these are really coming from you. And, and so, you know, a day went by, nothing happened. A week went by, nothing happened. A month went by, nothing happened. Well, so I kind of forgot about it, but these notes kept coming through. And then in July of that, so this was in March, in July of that same year, uh, Mary Magdalene, whom I call Maggie. Now, that's the thing. When she started sending these love notes through me, she, she told me she wanted me to publish them under my middle name, Joseph. And I asked her, well, can I call you Maggie? I said, I know Maggie's not a nickname for Magdalena, but I've always liked the name. And she said, sure, you can call me Maggie. Okay, so in, in March, I asked for this burning bush, right? Mm -hmm. In July, she, she tells me uh, that she wants me to start publishing these. So I'm thinking, publish these? Well, I better get some people to read them and get some you know, feedback on them. And I didn't want to send them to friends because, you know, friends are always going to be nice to you. So I was looking online on this site that has people that they do all kinds of sorts of different things. But there's thousands of people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't about to read through everything. So I was just going by and looking at the pictures quickly. And I, I, uh, this one uh, woman caught my eyes. So I stopped. Her name was Angelina. And there wasn't any other information about her except what she did. And so I clicked on that and I contacted her and I, I didn't tell her anything. I just said, I've got some poems I would like you to read and I'll pay you to read them. I'm not going to pay you for a testimonial, but if you like them and would like to give me a testimonial, I would appreciate it. Well, she wrote back and she said, you know, I, I really don't do that. So we went back and forth. For some reason, I didn't go on to someone else. We went back and forth. And finally, after a few days, she said, okay, send me some. So I sent her them, but I sent her the story about Mary Magdalene 
calling her Maggie, and so on. And the next day, Brad, I, I get an email from her. And she says, Joseph, I love these love notes, but I have to tell you something. Everybody knows me as Angelina today, but my middle name is Magdalena. <laughs> and, when I was, and when I was growing up, everyone called me Magdalena, except my best friends. And they called me Maggie. <laughs> And I, I wanted to confirm this. I said, now look, Mag's not a nickname for Magdalena, is it? She says, no, it's not. But someone called me Maggie one day. I liked it and it kind of stuck. Well, I'm thinking, oh my God. And then I looked down at her name again, Angelina, Angel Ina. I'm thinking this must be the angel from Maggie, this, this burning bush. Well, we kept in correspondence uh, and about a month later I guess when she felt more comfortable with me she I get another email from her and she says <laughs> I can't show Joseph I got to tell you something else and she said you're not going to believe this she said that my mother my father named me Angelina but my mother wanted to name me Mary <laughs> and on my birth certificate, my name is Mary Magdalena. Oh, really? <laughs> and she said, she said, you're not going to believe this. So she sent me a picture of her passport to confirm it. So here it is, Mary Magdalena, nicknamed Maggie. I, I, <laughs> you know, so and that, that, you know, just what I want to emphasize to people from that story is that no matter when these things happen to us, the ego always wants to maintain control. So you, the ego's always going to infuse doubt into your mind. Sure. It, the doubt never ends. But what you do with doubt, instead of fighting it, you just befriend it. So every time you know doubt comes in, what I do is I just thank it instead of fighting it. I thank you for reminding me to have my to focus on my faith. Got it. So I, I love when all these little synchronicities happen. Me and my wife do some of that. We've got a thing called the synchronicity experience, and we will go walking around downtown. And we look for little synchronicities that kind right. of align, and that's how you get sort of a validation of certain things, and that's what right. keeps you exactly. moving forward. So you can exactly. walk forward in faith, not by sight, kind of thing. Get it? Now, now a year later. I started, had, uh, and I emphasize this because, like I said, the doubt never goes away because of the ego. But about a year later, I started having some doubt again. You know, just, you know, not like before. But so Maggie told me, she said, look up Migdalia. I said, Migdalia? Well, back in 1968, my first year of college, it was a new college, I had very few friends, but this one woman from Mexico, took a liking to me and her name was Migdalia, a very uncommon name. Sure. And she looked like an Aztec princess. I mean, she was from a very well-to-do family, but just she had this Aztec nose, just long black silk hair. I mean, she's just, just beautiful. So I never forgot her, but the you know, Vietnam War was going on. So I enlisted I never saw her again, so this is 1968. But I never forgot her name or uh, forgot her. And then out of the blue, last year, Maggie says, look up the meaning of the Migdalia. So I look it up and it says flower. I said, well, okay, yeah, she was like a flower, right? So the next day, Maggie tells me again, she says, look it up again. And I said, well, I looked it up, it means flower, she says, look it up again and use a different dictionary. <laughs> so I looked it up again and it says Migdalia, derivative of Magdalena. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, so when I started to doubt, she gives me this, okay, you know, uh, so if you stay open, 
you can get these these um, uh, messages this guidance from you <laughs> this guidance from your angels yeah right so do you meditate so, i do yeah, I do. Because in my opinion, that gets you to a place of neutral, where you're not toggling back and forth of the good and the evil. You get to a place of nothingness, and that's when the information right. has the ability to flow. So to move forward, I don't like to do these too long because we've got people that okay. need to take their valuable time. Sure. But we can do another one later on, more on a specific topic. But can you share okay. before I ask my before I ask my favorite question? Could you share with us uh, how to get a hold of you, like a website or something like that? Sure. My website is lovenotesforyoursoul.com. For your soul or for soul? For your, your Y-O-U-R, lovenotesforyoursoul.com. That's my website. And then my email is joseph at loveyourselfwealthy.com. Got it. Love yourself wealthy and love notes for your soul. Perfect. So here's my favorite question, Joseph, and that is the big why question. And I think you kind of sort of answered it, but uh, why is it you're doing this and why aren't you like doing a online course of how to do karate or why aren't you like a ski instructor or why aren't you uh, following through a chiropractor? Why are you doing this? Well, uh, I, I really didn't have any choice. Okay. I mean, Maggie, <laughs> Maggie and Mary Magdalene and Mary came to me. And then uh, she woke me up, like I said, 2 a.m. that morning in December 2013. And every morning now, she, she wakes me up to 3 a.m. and I come and I just, I just, I, I do everything by longhand and I write out these uh, love notes. And, and she's been directing me ever since to, to publish them, uh, talk about them, uh, and share them with the world. So. That's that's what I'm doing. Got it. You're doing it because really you were told to really do it. Don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to sign this off and then beam it up to the internet, and we'll propagate it out to the world. And if you see it online, if you could also share it, that's the whole concept of synergy collaborative. Yeah. If you if you uh, if you send me the link, we'll do. Uh, I'll send it out to everyone. Great. Consider it done. So thanks All again right. for taking the day today at Synergy Cafe, Joseph. You enjoy the rest Thank of the you. day. Be well. Thank you. You too. Yeah.